Hello everyone, I'm Alekos. Welcome to the channel. Do you know we have a bunch of unreleased clothing packs and emotes for Friday the 13th of the game? For every single counselor. Matter of fact, some counselors more than others. Just a heads up, this is Cam Blood, a mod build. You can download it from my Discord server. Let's get to it. All right, starting with Vanessa Jones. And here's our first pajama pack, which is called the Slumber Party. It's basically, as you can see, pajamas. And we actually got two pieces here. Here's what yellow looks like and pink. I think pink's probably the best one. Nice. First counselor done. All right, Deborah Kim. So for her outfit, she only has one piece. So we can only change one like big color. So we got like a beige color then a blue and white, which is pretty cool. And then like, what's this? Like some flowers or something? I don't know. Not a big fan of this pack, but I think the blue is probably the best one. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Good old Tiffany Cox. I wanted to point out Tiffany had some unused spring wear. It's not in camp blood, but here's a picture of it. And I guess it was supposed to be like a scaly mermaid outfit. It's just unused and I thought it was worth mentioning. There we go. We got two pieces for her. Pretty cool looking outfit. Our first color is white. Our second color is red. Red looks really nice. I just I always love red. And final color, black, which black looks really good too. Also, if you're wondering, I think Tiffany Cox is the best counselor. That's just my opinion. Kenny Rydell. This one's pretty funny. Um, Again, we have two pieces. So here's like the whitish color. We then have a black on a green style. And then finally green on some funky blue looking shorts. Um... <laughs> Not not the best looking. I'd probably rock something like this. Kind of mix them up a bit. Definitely the black tank top though. Jenny Myers. Here's our pajama. A one piece. Looks really good. We've got pink. Like a darker purplish color. And then blue. Blackish blue. Something like that. This one looks really cool. I like this. Nice. Chad Kensington. Now before we break into Chad's pajamas. In the promotional picture for the Spring Break 84 clothing pack. We actually see Tiffany standing next to Chad. And he's wearing a black Speedo. So when we go to customize Chad here. We have the red color the tiger stripe, blue, and then black. Now, this is an unused piece of clothing that never made it to the game. Really wish it did. It's hands down the best style. And slumber party. I love it. <laughs> Chad's slumber party looks awesome. So for Chad's slumber outfit, we can actually uh, customize his shoes. So our first variant is red. We then have a yellow variant, which looks pretty cool, actually. A lot better than I was expecting it to be. Oof, and finally green. I think... I like green the most, honestly. Yeah, that pops so much. Nice. AJ Mason. Before we get into pajamas with AJ, we actually have an unused AJ cassette shirt. Now, it's not in camp blood, but we actually have some concept art of it here. Pretty cool. Would love to see this in-game. Thought it was worth mentioning. And this pajama is pretty cool. So our first variant is red on black. Our second is like a purple on white. The purple looks really cool, actually. Wow. We got yellow, like a dark yellow that says, what is that? Camp, camp fun time, all right. And then the bottom that is red pretty cool i think i like the default colors the most though sweet brandon bugsy wilson awesome it's like his little pajama football jersey i love how to say numbers that are actually on his jacket 26 we have 26 here again so our first style is the white with the 26 our second is a pink style that says mama's man and it's actually got jason like on some sunglasses or something and oh my goodness these pants bro wow so this one's pretty casual like this slayer nice although this style is very fun i think i prefer the final style it's very casual nice on the eyes not too bright oh man that's so cool we got robbed eric jr la Chapa, which i think he has a really cool looking slumber party outfit i think it's supposed to be like a dungeons and dragons sort of thing we even got like a light blue star wars ripoff style this one's even better in my opinion wow then we got the green banana style this is so sick dude personally i'm rocking with this one though adam palomino and slumber party this is definitely the most interesting slumber party i think we've seen so far i love the jean vest it actually looks really cool uh the underwear i don't know why it looks like it's like rubber or latex or something our first variant is blue and white we then got like a black on red which looks way better i would totally wear this and then red on black and the red vest looks sweet I mean, you could probably wear black on black like this. This looks pretty cool. Moving on. Mitch Floyd and every counselor that follows him did not have a clothing pack in the base game. It's because of the lawsuit. So let's check out their spring break, their costume party, and their unreleased slumber party packs. Starting with spring break 84. Yeah, so this is definitely one of the better spring break outfits. I would have loved using this in game. So we got like a black and gray stripe. Then we got a just full on red. Pretty cool. And then a yellow and black stripe. That's pretty crazy. Or like a, almost a brownish. Look like a bumblebee. I think I prefer the base style though. All right, one of the best costume parties I've seen. We got an astronaut for Mitch here. So we got like a gray suit. We got a full on orange suit. You can't tell me this isn't awesome. And then an all dark, bright bluish color. Definitely have to go with the orange. I mean, it just pops so well. And finally, the slumber party. It's just so casual and like lazy at the same time. I love it. It looks like they actually put a lot of thought and detail into this versus the other ones, I guess. So our first variant is like a brown throw over with a white t-shirt, green plaid shorts, and black sandals. Holy man, this just screams hippie. Wow. Look how much detail they put into this stuff. Oh, it just gets better. And then we got some birthday confetti looking slumber party outfit. Man, all these styles are so good. The casual is really cool. This one's really cool. This one's just... 
I'm just gonna have to go with this one just because how funny it is. I'm telling y'all, we were robbed big time. These these would have been so fun to use. All right, Fox, let's check out all of her clothing packs. Here's a casual. Then we got Spring Break 84. I like this, just kind of casual, not too crazy. Our first variant is like a pinkish top with a blue bottom. Our second is like this print, which looks really cool. I don't think I've ever seen this before. And our final is like a green mintish thing going on. Yeah, I definitely prefer the cheetah print thing. That one looks so cool. Is that cheetah print or is that like tiger stripes? I don't know any of this stuff. Oof, easily one of the best costume party outfits we've gotten. She's like some Wild West sheriff looking chick. Looks so cool, dude. I love this. Also love how she actually has cowboy boots on. First variant's like an orange top with a brownish bottom. Our second variant's like a blue top with a darker brown, darker reddish looking variant. And our final one is like a blue on red, which looks really cool with the boots. Gonna have to go with the last style. I just love the blue on red. It looks really cool. Finally, her slumber party, which looks awesome our first variant is a blue on blue our second variant's this weird magenta ish color i don't know my colors clearly i don't know and finally black definitely the best style i'd wear this one awesome sheldon finkelston uh i just know there's gonna be so many troll outfits here casual here's his spring break and this is awesome i think this is a reference to the movie doesn't he actually go underwater with like a suit on but yeah, pretty cool. It's unique. It's not just a casual like swimmer like the others. We got like a dark navy blue style. We got like a green style, which looks really cool. And finally, like a purple, pink, 80s confetti fun party thing. I think I'd go with blue because it looks like the movie version and it just it looks it looks fun. <laughs> easily one of the best costume parties we got a boy scout here i mean that's hilarious he got his sash all the merit badges yes i'm an eagle scout come at me do you know how to make a fire actually i probably had around that many merit badges so for his first variant he's got like an all dark brown which isn't very accurate i would say his second style is like a dark green um it's pretty cool and finally like a dark blue this is for the cub scouts actually but yeah gonna have to go with the brown style it just looks really good and i love the high socks and the hiking boots it's perfect and his slumber party he's just got like a big old onesie on it's like the perfect sheldon outfit our first variant is just all yellow then we have a green with some aliens and ufos on it and blue with rubber duckies i know everyone would use this if this was in the game definitely the best out of the three look how cool that looks and our final counselor victoria sterling here's her casual outfit then onto her spring break 84 which looks pretty cool i think this is actually a cheetah print this time her first style is black on cheetah print this style is oh pretty cool actually pink on gold stripes something like that and then finally blue on some weird looking spectrum colors i don't know i think i just stay with the original costume party really cool they did really good at the like the newer counselors their costumes are really like they look like they put a lot of thought into it so we got like an angel here we got a white style wow a pink style i don't think i've seen this before this looks really nice i would definitely wear this one and finally, like a bluish style. Definitely wear the pink style in game. That looks really nice. <sighs> and finally, the slumber party. This is probably the most revealing slumber party. I don't know, just it looks super sketch. So we got like a white variant, red variant, which looks red, and an all black variant. Yeah, th these are wild. I think I just stick with the white. Now we have quite a few unreleased emotes. Now there's different versions for the male and female. Our first being Beg. <laughs> we then have Bring It On. Love that one. Next up is Compliment. <laughs> Headbang. Yeah. Yeah. This one's pretty cool. Sarcasm. <laughs> nice. Scold. I love that one. That one's so good. I would have used that so many times. Shadow Box. This one's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, dude. Yeah. That's awesome. Shuffling. Ooh. Slow roll. Okay, that's pretty nice. Nice little casual dance. And one of my favorites, the Egyptian. I think AJ actually does this in the challenge mode or something. I love it though. That's so awesome. Or is this from the movie? I think this is from the movie too. But yeah, that is all our counselors in Friday the 13th the game with all their clothing packs. Let me know in the comments, which clothing pack would you have wished to see the most in the game? Personally, I'm going to have to go with Mitch Floyd. I think he had the most potential with his outfits. I know we would have had so much fun with all of them and especially the emotes too. Imagine doing that Egyptian dance right in front of Jason. That would have been so much fun. And if you're looking for some Friday the 13th merch, check out my store page on my channel. Don't be forgetting to hit that subscribe button. Your man's trying to hit 10k over here.